she should stay back six feet i'm not the one i've been getting asked this question a lot the question is when will the coronavirus vaccine be released well here's the answer the coronavirus vaccine will be released on april 3rd 2021 and it will become readily available for most everyone be ready all right, more bad news here in California. Governor Gavin Newsom has banned eating in restaurants for three weeks for 19 counties. LA County is included. Uh, it does exclude San Francisco and San Diego for now, but this affects like 72% of the state. Five states with the highest coronavirus cases. New Jersey, Texas, Florida, California, New York. Follow for more updates. There's one thing that COVID should have taught you. One thing is that your job does not give a shit about you. If your employer requires you to take a COVID-19 test before you go into work, then you need to be compensated for the time that you're there waiting for the COVID-19 test. So if you have 10 people in line in front of you and you're, it takes 20 minutes to get through the line, you need to be compensated. Today, officials say they have no confirmed cases of coronavirus in China. They do, however, have a case of bubonic plague. What? Oh, mm -mm. Says, oh no, it, it's time to go. Uh, Coming soon to the Jasper Mall, home of Amazon Prime's documentary entitled Jasper Mall, a carnival in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic. It's a coronavirus carnival. It's a carnival. So one of her clients registered for the COVID test and went to the drive through with the baby in a back seat. Uh, since the baby was cranky that day, she decided to leave without testing it and come back another time. A few days later, she got an email said COVID positive. So she was worried if the mistake would cause more infection for other people. So she called the testing center and was offered $8,000 to keep the records. So um, I'm just going to leave that there for you guys to read because uh, I don't think a lot of people really understand how this all works. A lot of you have been asking, so here are my COVID-19 symptoms. Before getting tested, I had a bit of a scratchy throat and headache for one day. After getting tested, my headache worsened and I developed 101 degree fever. My doctor recommended to alternate between Aleve and Tylenol for my headaches and fever and take vitamin C, D, and zinc. Sometimes I'd even go outside just to catch some sun for the vitamin D. The 101 degree fever continued for the next two days, along with chills, bad headaches, and body aches. I spent most of my time in bed. The next four days, I had a lower fever and fatigue. I spent some time watching Netflix, reading books, and doing puzzles. After one week, my fever finally broke, but I still felt a bit lethargic. I stayed quarantined for the entire 14 days, as recommended, actually a little more just to be safe. I never lost my sense of taste or smell. I had chest pain one night when sleeping on my back, but never developed a cough or shortness of breath. Feeling grateful that my symptoms weren't worse and excited to get retested. Good evening, healthcare workers. As of today, half of our patients are considered positive for COVID-19. The other half is either under investigation for coronavirus or have tested negative yesterday and will test positive tomorrow. Each of these patients are on airborne precautions in which you are required to wear gowns, gloves, face and eye protection, and an N95 mask. However, we have none of the listed items, so we hope you brought the ones back from home. Happy Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favor.